Hey, what's up, fellas? This is the Game Hunter, a new episode of Star Wars Commander Rebels. Let's continue with this adventure. I have no idea what's happening. I believe we are losing so much money. Stop attacking me, people. For God's sake. Well, actually, in this episode, we're going to make some arrangements to the base. And also, we're going to continue upgrading our troops. Uh, so far, I'm doing fine. I was trying to collect some credits in order to get the credit depot, if I'm not wrong. And that didn't work out very well. <laughs> I ended up spending the resources and some other stuff. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I cannot save credit. I had to spend it upgrading troops and stuff like that. All right, so what do we have? We got the, this level six. Yes, that's exactly what I was trying to do. We got the starship and trying to see what else do I need to upgrade. I believe we just missing the heroes now, right? That's a lot of credit. That's a lot of credits. Alright, so what kind of troops do we have? Let's see. Real quick, uh, heavies. Yeah, actually this combo is working very well. The ATAP, the mechanical chicken, is working very well with the with the rest of the troops. In this case, I'm going with some heavy soldiers and also with the AA-5 speeder truck, which works like a charm because bringing troops in front of me like a mid shield is so valuable for the heavy troopers so 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 valuable so that is the combo that has been working very well for me so far and um, let me double check what are, what are we doing in here let's see um so this is my base i haven't done anything with my base in a while let's see trying to see let's go in layout mode okay i haven't, I haven't gone layout mode in a long time okay stash all perfect and at this level, we can still work with uh, 10,000. Jesus. Okay, we're going to send all the little bots. I right, clean that. Uh, at this level, you can still trust the classic corner base. Now that we still have three shield generators, we can put one here. We can put another one there. Well, we're going to probably make some arrangements in a few but uh and also we can put the walls the walls are going to be at the at the end now the other way it it, it it is not easy it's not easy it's not easy to do this with a mouse and keyboard okay that sounds pretty good actually not sound it, it's looking good okay perfect we got this tree a tree more and the idea of, of this will be to protect our base, the headquarter, and also the, the main resources building. That will be the key. For the rest, I don't care. If somebody does a, a one-star attack, I'm okay with that. But if they're gonna try to get my, my beautiful resources, I will say no, no, no. No can do. No can do. So that's why we're trying to protect ourselves. Okay, maybe we can put one here. One probably closer. Still trying to decide. Well, I, I'm just doing this in a, in, a, in a rush right now. And I would love, love, love to get your, your tips and tricks also for, for a base a level 6, okay? I would love to know that. Okay, we're gonna put that in here. Some uh, some rocket turret, rocket turret there, rocket turret the other way, over here, one in each corner. We also had this. We got this one too. Perfect. And one more time. I think it's time for me to start upgrading and changing some turrets. Uh, definitely need to make some changes in this. For now, I'm just doing this in a rush, so we can take a look, a quick look of a base, a corner base. I put the, there you go, that's here, it's in here. I don't think I need to overlap the shield that much in here. I'm going to put this one for the, right in the back.
right, so this is a basic concept of a corner base. Put the headquarters in there, protected by shield generators. Also got that tons, tons of turrets. We should actually move all this a little bit to the front if it's necessary to make sure that we can extend the range of the shield generators. Maybe we can make an exchange in here. Put a turret in the back. Hold on, just trying to make some arrangements at the last second. I, I always do. It's not, not, not new. Okay, we're gonna stash that. I'm gonna put this shield here. Let's see. If I do that, there's too close. Those two don't like that. I wonder if I can. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stash this one. I'm gonna stash this one too. Can I move the shield? There you go. I like that better. Perfect. Uh, you go in here. And then we get a last one right here at the bottom. Okay. Sounds, uh, sounds decent. Okay, so the idea would be to protect our resources. Have the squad center in front, hopefully with troops. Some traps surrounding the areas. Again, if you want me to to try another layout, just let me know. I'm just I was just doing this in a in a rush because a lot, I'm getting a lot of messages from you people asking me, what can we do with our base? Should we change something? Well, <laughs> you can definitely try a layout, a different layouts. And the best thing to do is to make a layout, wait for a little bit see a couple attacks and then make the arrangements so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna leave the base like this and probably in the next episode the first thing that we're gonna do is analyze the base and see what we're doing right what are we doing wrong all right so let's get into an attack before ending this episode looking good i guess actually we're gonna see let's see if our opponent has some bases like this one the corner bases are classic between if i'm not wrong headquarter level five and Probably seven or four, four and six, something like that. Just trying to protect as much as possible the resources and the headquarter. And forget about the rest. And just wondering what's happening in here. Uh, look at this. The the level of the buildings is really high. That's not level six or seven. Something fishy is going on. You know what? I'm just gonna steal resources for this one. But this is a really crazy layout. Uh, this person is just suspecting an attack from this area instead of coming from the back so yeah that's exactly what we're not gonna do but we can get some resources absolutely you see we can get a couple rebel soldiers in there just just for chills and giggles let's get all that but this is another uh, example of bases that you're gonna come across these bases have the, the their idea is to make you they divide your troops so they're not you, they, they can't go all the way against the headquarter because we're gonna be running out of time so what they're trying to push you is to just make a crazy deployment in the back i'm pretty sure there are some traps in this area so you know to do that just just be ultra mega careful guys don't fall into those traps okay oh we got plenty of resources i like that yeah that was completely worth it are you kidding me that was awesome <laughs> That was awesome. Okay, all the all the resources were at the refinery, uh, the credit market, not so much at the headquarter. Only a, one, a thousand and a thousand, and nothing in the storage. All right, that that was kind of weird. Anyway, we got our the first attack. It's in decent loot for spending four troops or five troops. I will take that any 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 day. All right, so let me get those troops back. Maybe maybe we can go over here. Maybe we can go over here. Uh, ooh, get rid of conflict? What? I don't remember that conflict. Yeah, well, one of the reasons that I put the barracks and the factory at size is because I don't have any of the fragments to make them spawn units. So until then, it's just nothing that I can do much. The force are mounted, nothing interesting. Um, and I believe one of the issues that we have with the game is that... Um, there is so many different troops and stuff that you can upgrade that when you start getting those fragments, it's like, a, okay, that's pretty cool, but for me to collect 20 of those is going to take me forever. And it's totally true. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's, that's the truth. See, this one is level 20. I've been trying to get all those fragments for a long time, so, and, and nothing happens. So it's just so annoying. Anyway, let me get the troops ready. We got some samples. Let's go with some samples troops. No, just just don't go. 
just there you go thank you so much uh, we can get some uh, basic soldiers maybe some uh, there you go perfect 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 okay thank you all right and in the meantime we're gonna start building one of my favorite troops in the game which is the aa5 a transport it's so so good so so good okay i'm gonna do that one just in case there's no more no, there's no conflicts or stuff like that going on right now right no nothing going on nothing you see next reward coming maybe, maybe we should move maybe we should move you just uh let me know should we go to sixty-two thousand forces over there wow there's not much much people playing oh maybe in danduin only yeah yeah let's just go for a look Let's go for an attack. The, the the other one was just to collect some resources. Now let's go for their powerful punch. Powerful punch. Let's see what we can do. Right, 37, 37. It's not much. It's not much. It's a base that is wide open. When you spread your uh, buildings too much, uh, the defensive buildings, they're, it's kind of easy, more easy to, to destroy them. I don't know if you agree with me. Uh, you know what? Just, just go and attack this one. See if there is any troops. No, there is nothing in there. Perfect. I'm gonna deploy this and this in here. I'm gonna be super careful not to deploy that many. And then we're going with the electrical mechanical chicken. Got the wiki. There's some more troops over here. Let's save one just for the end. Let's see. Alright, so this is not too bad. The AA5 went this way. I'm gonna destroy that rocket to it. Thank you so much. Those are dangerous. Deadly, man. Deadly against these vehicles. Especially the level 1. Uh, so far, they're looking fine. I mean, uh, Shui is just <laughs> a midship from, for everybody else. Good enough space for the heavy soldiers to take care of business and that's one of the things that we are trying to do with this right um, this combination between Wookiees and heavy soldiers is so powerful because the Wookiees they always go close combat or very close and the heavies they have longer range so if somebody's attacking you for example with a mortar usually the mortar is gonna strike the the Wookiees instead of the heavy soldiers and then the heavy soldiers are gonna get refreshed all the time with these medic droids and this was a perfect 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 attack hey so it's gonna be interesting to find out how the base is do is gonna be doing in the next couple days so if you wanna know what happened you have to post in the commentary section down below and say hunter please let me know what's happening with your base <laughs> and also please guys do not forget to like subscribe share my videos also uh, support the channel it's super important if you want me to continue creating content for you fellas and, and continue recording videos from some old games like slug terra and star Wars command just because of you and, I, and, and it's super difficult for me because i can be i should be, i could be playing some more popular games now to gain new subscribers but uh for me i'm just, just i like to do stuff for my loyal followers too so do me a favor you have an extra minute just just watch the other videos, drop a like, put a comment in there, let me know. Hey, you know what? Because it's, 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 uh, it's so difficult for me when you, you guys go to my videos and start posting. Hey, do more Slug Terra, do more Slug Terra, do more Star Wars. Um, but I would love to know your opinion about the videos that I'm recording for you. Let me know, okay, this game is cool. Maybe they like it, maybe we should try it, maybe we should keep doing a playthrough. Uh, stuff like that. that, that would help me a lot as a content creator. Fellas, this is The Game Hunter, signing off. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.